A four-star Air Force general is now predicting war with China. He writes in a memo that Beijing will likely invade Taiwan while the U.S. is distracted by the upcoming presidential election. He says, quote, I hope I'm wrong. My gut tells me we'll fight in 2025. Let's bring in General Jack Keane now. General Keane, thank you very much for being here today. Uh, that's, a, that's, that's a pretty big warning that he's putting out there, uh, saying that we'll be at war with China in two years, telling uh, the officers that he commands in this memo in which he made this prediction to get ready to prep by firing, quote, a clip at a target and aim for the head. Do you agree with this prediction? Well, we don't know for sure whether this is imminent or not, because it's subjective analysis, to be sure. And listen, we're at peace, relatively speaking, and it's the duty of commanders to prepare their troops for war. And I spoke in very direct, blunt language, like this general has, in preparing my troops during peacetime for war as well. This is an internal memo. I'm not sure he thought it was going to be publicized. But nonetheless, uh, that, that's the motivation he has in doing it. Certainly in signaling an eventuality in a couple of years is what's gotten everybody's attention. We don't know whether it's imminent or not. I suspect it's not imminent. But I don't think that's the critical point. The real issue is here is that we don't have an effective military deterrence in place. And what am I talking about? The Chinese have more ships more airplanes and more missiles than the United States has. And at some point, quantity has a quality all of its own. They have a decided advantage. The second thing is, we're trying to upgun Taiwan, Sandra, and we've got a $19 billion bat log in the equipment that they have requested and already paid for. The Congress has got to fix this foreign military sales thing. It is absolutely handicapping our ability to do what's right. What we're trying to do here, so our audience understand, is prevent a war. That is what the intent is here. To do that, let's get Taiwan up gun like we have finally done after the war started with Ukraine. We can't do that once war starts because they're an island nation. We'll never be able to get supplies into them. Secondly, we've got to fix our own inadequacy in the region. Then when we do this objectively, we can make some predictions ourselves that we got a deterrence again, and therefore the likelihood of China taking on the United States and Taiwan, it would be slim. It would be diminished. But that's not the case now. We, I think, are in a critical zone because we have this vulnerability of a lack of a military deterrence. And it sounds like, while you agree this is an eventuality, that you don't believe it's as imminent as this four-star Air Force general, who's pinning that on the distraction that he says will be uh, the United States presidential elections. Real quick final thought on if you believe Congress will follow through on what you are calling on Congress to do, when this general laid out goals for preparing, he included building a fortified, ready, integrated, and agile joint force maneuver team ready to fight and win inside the first island chain. Will Congress follow through on the demands you just said? Well, first of all, the executive branch has got to make that decision. They control the Department of Defense. And listen, he has background in the Indo-Pacific region. His current command has nothing to do with the Indo-Pacific other than he would support it with airplanes. But he spent years in the region, so you take his counsel. He has an understanding of what our deficiencies are there, to be sure. And I'm thinking that's what's driving him to his, to his conclusions. But we need the executive branch to step up and really thicken our defenses in that first island chain. We need more ships. We need more airplanes. We need more land forces that control and influence the major navigation routes in the region. And as I said before, we absolutely have to upgun Taiwan. If we've learned anything from Ukraine, we didn't deter Ukraine. Uh, we didn't deter the Russians by having the proper amount of equipment in Ukraine. And as a matter of fact, they saw it as an advantage. And we've done commendable work, obviously, since that time. But it's a major lesson. Yeah. Let's get the stuff into Taiwan now to prevent China from even thinking about taking this kind of action. We hear the urgency from you. General Jack Keane joining us now. Thank you very much, General. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.